Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have a tutorial for this look here featuring these really pretty spiral curls that actually have some length. So let's jump in. I'm starting out with freshly cleansed and conditioned hair and I'm just smoothing out the hair, making sure it's nice and detangled before I move into sectioning the hair into small section so that I can install some finger coils. Now for the finger coils, I'm gonna be using the Hydrating Jelly from the Inspire line by Made Beautiful. This is my go-to product for finger coils. It really allows me to make some nice defined coils that actually don't shrink up completely. So I'm able to retain a lot of the length when I use this product. And so I'm gonna show you a few different times how I install these finger coils but essentially I start at the root using both of my hands to twirl the hair tightly I want to make sure the coil is nice and tight once I get the coil started after using both hands that's when I will hold it with two fingers and begin to twirl with my other hand around a couple of fingers to really get that coil going and then as I feel like it's tight I'll move my two fingers down lower hold it in place and then twirl again and I do that until I'm all the way at the bottom and feel like the coil is secure and then I just let it go. And then I do the same, that same process over and over again. It's pretty simple. I'd, I'd say the most challenging part about doing these is that it works best when you use small sections of hair. I am not one for separating finger coils like I would a twist out. I really just wanna install the coil and leave it in place and not mess with it. Um, because I want to have as little frizz as possible and I feel like separating a coil for my hair texture would not be a good move <laughs> because my hair is so naturally poofy I just don't want to disrupt the curl that I put in place so for the balance of the hair after I've done a good amount of coils I want to figure out what I want to do with the rest so I'm sectioning out some hair for the remainder of my finger coil. So I'm gonna coil a bit more, but for the back of my hair, I did want to add um, an accent to the back. And so I'm just going to first twist up the hair that I know that I want to coil, and then I'll move to the very back of the hair or my head that I've sectioned out, and I'm gonna do a single flat twist kind of going around my head just to add some detail back there, make it a little you know, more fun in the back rather than just scooping all that hair up like I might do um, with some other styles. And so once I've got that flat twist in place, I'm just gonna finish doing the rest of my finger coils and that is going to really complete this look. I love how defined these coils are and how long they are. Um, they really did not shrink up much beyond this point. They stayed at this length, which I think is pretty awesome. Tucking that twist up underneath those coils and you guys know that I gotta throw these earrings back on. I don't know if y'all noticed that they came off about halfway through doing this style, but they're back on. Um, just in case any of you guys are wondering, I did score these at the World Natural Hair Show. These hair shows have some of the best vendors that carry some of the most beautiful jewelry. So that is it, you guys. I'm gonna turn around so you can see this detail in the back, which is, I think, one of my favorite parts about this style, honestly, um, besides the fact that these coils are nice and long. So watch as I turn around here, this nice single flat twist in the back just is so pretty back there. Um, and so really love this style. It did take a bit more time than my usual style, but I did want to do this look for Mother's Day specifically, and it turned out beautifully. I will throw some pictures up at the end of me and my boys on Mother's Day. I hope that everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure that your notifications are turned on, and I will see you next time. Thank you.